a huge Jimmy Webb fan. Our next guest has written songs like Wichita Lyman by the time I get to Phoenix and this huge, huge, wonderful song, Galveston. Please welcome Jimmy Webb. Hugh Presswood, who wrote uh, the song "Remember," uh, song remember, song remember, oh, I love that song. And I love that song. Yeah. Speaking of songs, this is such a good record. I've had this on in my office for about three of the last working days. Uh, it's, this is ten easy pieces, and it's it's a it's a record you might not have really wanted to make. I mean, it's. It's just some of the best tunes that you've ever, ever, well, some of the biggest tunes. You might have different thoughts about the best, but it's got Galveston, Wichita Lineman, By the Time I Get to Phoenix, All I Know, MacArthur Park. I mean, all giant tunes. All, all sung by giant singers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only a little bitty singer, and they're really gigantic singers. So uh, I guess part of my problem uh, with uh, 
avoiding a lot of this material for many years was just uh, the uh, degree of success it received with uh, great performers like Glenn Campbell. And, yeah. And uh, so, uh, also, you get overly familiar with material. I heard you talking about how you look for different ways to do your songs, and you get to the point, I guess, after about the 10,000th time yeah. you hear uh, Wichita Lineman, uh, you don't know how to approach it anymore. It's just right. such a, it's sort of carved in stone, and there doesn't seem to be any way to get back to that. Yeah. I wrote a lot of those songs when I was a kid. You know, I was uh, 17, 18, 19 years wow. old. and uh, man. And uh, I don't know who that guy was anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but, so, a, a lot of making the record was rediscovering this, you know, the past, and, yeah. and trying to figure out how to approach it in in the 90s, which is where we are now. Well, it's it's awfully well done. Thank you. You, you did it in uh, Toronto, right? I did it in Toronto, which is like, is, is, is like uh, uh, I'll say it's like Nashville, and, uh, because I love Nashville, and I love the small town atmosphere. Right. And Toronto's like a southern town in, uh, in Canada. People were super and warm, friendly place. I wanted to ask you, where did you, where'd you get the title for this? Well, that, I was agonizing over what to call this record. Usually, uh, halfway through a record, a title will jump on you or occur to you, or somebody will say, why don't you call it this? And, right. and uh, I, it just didn't seem like I was ever going to come up with anything. And I didn't want to call it Greatest Hits or, yeah. uh, you know, Biggest, Baddest Songs. <laughs> uh, so uh, I was uh, dreaming one night. And I, I saw my mom, my mother, who passed away when I was uh, 16 years old. Mm -hmm. And she said, uh, Jimmy, you're going to call your album 10 Easy Pieces. <laughs> wow. And so when I woke up the next morning, I said, hmm, I'm going to call my album 10 Easy Pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and I called up my producer. That's right. That's great. That's great. <laughs> I want you to come back and talk to, about the, uh, the book that you're writing. It's okay. a book about songwriting, and if, if, there's, if there's one guy that ought to do it, it's you. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Would you, would you come back and talk to us when I it comes back I, out? I sure will. All right, man. I Thank sure you will. very much. You're going to sing again later, yeah. right? Okay. Jimmy's going to do another one right after this, folks. Join us next week on...